Hey sugars, this is us with my sugar. Welcome to my channel. I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. And please feel free to bitch moan a complaint. It's all sugar. Hey, hey sugar, I want to let you know you're not his last stop. You are not his last stop. You may be thinking, what, is, what the hell is she talking about? Listen, the dude you with, you feeling a little weird. You're feeling a little funny. He say little, little funny stuff. He say little funny stuff that don't quite make sense. For example, if a man talks about women and men as if you're not sitting there, as if you wasn't rocking with his basic ass. For example, you sitting there with your dude and he say little stuff like, oh, women don't appreciate a, a walk in the park and you know, stuff, stuff like, you know, you know, stuff men used to do back in the day. You looking like, motherfucker, you ain't sat on the porch with me. Who the fuck is he talking about? You sitting there, that's your dude. You think that's your dude. He's talking about what a woman won't pr appreciate, but he's your dude. And your thirsty ass definitely will appreciate that. So you thinking, who is he talking about? If you let them talk, they'll tell you. Who is he talking about? He ain't talking about you. He's not talking about you. He's talking about that woman he really want to be with. What you are right now, it's like you're a space heater. And he can't afford to turn on the heat and really heat the place up the way he want. So, you know, he opt out and have a little space heater and take the little space, whatever energy that space heater can give. He'll take that little warmth until he can afford to really heat up the house. So right now you're the little space heater. And he's taking what he can get. So listen to what they say and to what they do and understand sometimes you're not his last stop. You could be a placeholder. You can be for the meantime. You can be um, somebody to chill with the person he doesn't give any titles with, you know, because he don't want to lead you on. Although you act like his his wife, woman, slash, slash. You probably had a baby with him. Maybe, you know, you're thinking you're doing all these things, but you're still not his last stop. But if you listen to what a person says when they get comfortable enough to shut your mouth and listen. Listen to what he says. He comfortable enough. He'll tell you what he wants. And, you know, and sometimes it's not going to be you. You know, it's, 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 it's not going to be you. Like little things. When a man try to convince you to get little things like tattoos, specific tattoos or little specific nuances, little real specific things he wants you to get or do. And you're like, what the fuck? Where did he get this shit from? That's not even me. That's not even like me. That's not even something of my style. No, it's not. Because it's for the other person that he really can't get or afford right now. So he's using you as a placeholder or a dress up doll or whatever you want to call it. But you ain't really the one he's want, he wants. And then, you, you know, a lot of you women say, well, why are he with me then? Why are he with me? Because he can. And it's something to do. Many people are drive a hoopty. To have something to drive until the meantime so they can get what they want. And I'm not saying you're a hoopty, but if you allow yourself to be treated like a hoopty, then you're a hoopty. It's all in how you view yourself. It's all in how you allow yourself to be treated. And if you want to be somebody's space heater or hoopty, then you know what? Who am I to tell you anything different? But you need to understand and recognize you are a placeholder. You are somebody's hoopty. You are somebody's little space heater. It's what it is. And if you don't like being those things to that person, because they understand something about people. People will use what they can from you to get to make it work for their life. That's just the nature of people. It's up to you. You can't control that person. You can't control him. You can't make him want you. But. You can take yourself away from the situation, from being treated any old type of way. So you got to decide and listen when they're talking to you. Listen and accept at times you're not the one for them. 
Some some of you women, you know, some of you women think you you being with a guy and you you think you're doing him a favor or you know you you downgrading well he the basic one he's a bum ass dude no he being with you because he can't be with who he really want to be with so i want you ladies to start really thinking about your situation and looking and paying attention and if you're a little space heater or hoopty change that all right get your mind right all right take care sugars